Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are going on a little errand together. Um, you guys are always asking me about my refashions and how I do it and how I come up with the concepts and all that. So I was headed to Goodwill today and I thought that I would take you guys along with me where I can show you um, some types of garments that I would pick out for a refashion and show you why I would choose them and then also explain kind of what I would make from them. So that should be a lot of fun. I um, have got my new little favorite thing in tow today. Um, this is a tea that I have been drinking. It's part of like a 30 day tea detox. So every morning I drink uh, this one that they call skinny and um, it's it's completely replaced my coffee. I was drinking coffee first thing in the morning and then again at like two or three in the afternoon. And now I have this one cup of tea in the morning and I don't need any more coffee. So that's been great. You know, I, the winter time was really just such a drag. It always is every year. Uh, I kind of touched on it a little bit in a video last week, but just feeling like real, I don't know, blah. Um, my complexions all messed up, low energy levels, mood was like not great, feeling pretty bloated and like my gut wasn't very healthy. So to get things back on track, I was like, let me try this 30 day plan. So been doing the skinny teas in the morning and those have been great. I really, really love them. Um, but it's actually a two part system. So at night, every other night, I take this one that they call colon. And let's just say, it gets things moving in another way. <laughs> um, I've done, there's definitely a laxative quality to the colon tea. Um, I've done various kinds of laxatives in the past with the digestive issues that I've had. And some of them can be, I mean, they can be terrible, like with heavy cramping and very, very painful and all of that. This isn't like that. I mean, it definitely, does what it's supposed to do and there definitely is some cramping but it's not like terrible <laughs> um it's definitely bearable um and once you do what it's designed to do then it all goes away you can go about your day it's not like after every time you eat after that you feel gross and disgusting it kind of does its thing and then it's out of your system and it's gone so that's been really, really nice. Um, so like I said, this is a 30 day tea talks. I'm about one week in. You can tell I have tons of energy, um, which has been really, really great. And I can see little differences like in my color, in my complexion, you know, that stuff doesn't clear up overnight, but just like the brightness behind my skin is starting to come back. Um, I feel a lot less bloated, like I said, um, feeling like lighter, you know, does that make sense? Um, it is the daylight savings started. So lots more daylight and you know, all of that has been really, really wonderful. So I feel like the um, tea talks was good timing with that. But they also have this cool little tumbler and the tumbler, like this bottom part comes off. And so you can store like vitamins in there or if you didn't want to steep your tea right away, you could put your tea leaves in there. And then in the top, which I can't show you because it's full, but in the top, it has like a filter. So although all these tea leaves are loose, when you drink it, the little filter prevents them from going into your mouth, um, which is really great. But I love this little tumbler. I know that I'm going to use it far past this tea talks. It's really great just to have and be able to take tea on the go, especially if you're trying to like not rely so heavily on coffee. Um, so yeah, I really love this guy. It comes in a ton of different colors too. So yeah, it's, it's been really great. It makes it very easy to do like a daily tea, whether you're going to school or work or taking the kids to school or hanging out with the grandkids or whatever, you just throw it together and run out the door and you are ready to go. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that Teamy has sent me a coupon code for all of you guys to get 25% off 
your order with them. That includes any of their tea toxes. They have others that are not the skinny and the colon. I think they have like a boost one. Oh, I can't remember them all, but they have others that you might be interested in. So definitely go check out their website. Link in the description box below. And the code is ITH25. So if you want to go get yourself some teas or a tumbler or anything like that, then use the code and you can get 25% off. Um, but yeah, okay. So now we're headed to Goodwill and see what goodies we find. All right, so we have arrived. My very first stop every single time I go to Goodwill is the dress section, mostly because that's where you can find the most fabric, the garments that have the most to work with. So first up is this dress I found. Um, I picked it out mostly because A, I love the color and the color would look really good on my skin tone. B, the fabric felt nice. Um, it wasn't uncomfortable or scratchy. C, it had this really great lace-up detail that I can incorporate into my garment. Sleeves mean extra fabric, so that's always nice. Um, so I can imagine this garment being made into one of those like shirt dresses where the waist is elasticized and there's a little drawstring there. Um, so it'll have that lace-up detail on the bodice probably sleeveless, and then cinched in at the waist for some definition. Next up is this hot blue number. Um, truth be told, though, I did end up putting it back because the fabric just didn't feel great to me. It was 100% polyester, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it was just bad polyester, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I did pull it out to inspect it because the color was right and the shape, meaning shapeless and large and oversized, was also right. But in the end, it wasn't going to work for a refashion. Okay, next I found this super cute denim dress, I think, maybe tunic. I'm not 100% sure, but I pulled it out because denim and chambray always are a good thing but it was made by Eileen Fisher and I just know from experience that Eileen Fisher uses really really great quality fabrics and so I knew that if I made this into something else it would have a long life beyond the long life that it's already had but it's not super long so I don't have a lot of length to work with so it'll probably be made into a boxy top. All right, here's something that's interesting. This isn't large or oversized or have a ton of fabric, but what it does have working for it is this really super cool trim. And Goodwill can be a great place to find trims at a great price. The dresses here are $6, so I get all this yardage of trim to put on the hem of maybe that chambray dress I just showed you for really cheap. Okay, so here's a really interesting example. I found this large, shapeless, oversized dress. I actually kind of really dig the print, and I was also intrigued by the buttons that it would come with as well. But as I inspected it further, I realized it had large, uh, or four fisheye darts all along the bodice. So I inspected the inside of the garment, and what I found was some of those fisheye darts had been surged, meaning if I were to take that surging out, there would be a big gigantic hole running the length of the dress. So the lesson here is you gonna have to get in there and inspect these garments front, back, inside and out to make sure that you are gonna be able to work with what you're given. Okay, so here's another dress that I found. This is a strapless dress that quite honestly isn't very long, but the skirt is cut into a circle skirt, meaning there are just a ton of fabric there, even though it's not that long. So finding something like this, adoring the cotton fabric and the little polka dots, I knew that I could turn this into a circle skirt, basically chopping off the bodice and adding a waistband. Super simple refashion. Next up, I found another oversized shapeless dress and I just fell in love with the fabric, but mostly this embroidered hem that they have on the dress. I don't know if this was done in post-production of the dress or if that's how the fabric came, but I just thought it was really, really cute. 
For a dress like this, I really want to show off the hem. So I would probably raise the hem up, making the garment knee length, and then do something, really anything. You can do a shift, you can do a sheath, you can do fit and flare. It's just polyester. It doesn't have a lot of stretch though, so you got to keep that in mind. All right, this is the last dress that I found, and this goes kind of back to the embellishment. This is a basic knit t-shirt dress, and please excuse this lady that didn't realize that I was filming, but I loved it because this jewel neckline to me was so beautiful, and when you see how it's attached, it's just, it's just barely um, tacked on, I realized I could easily take that off and apply it to really any neckline that I have. So I'm not a thousand percent sure that I'm going to keep this knit part of the dress. It is rayon, which is nice, um, but I don't know about like a t-shirt dress, uh, but I'm definitely going to keep the jewel neckline and apply it to something. Okay, so after finishing up in the dress section, I usually head over to the skirts. It is a little bit more limiting because you really have to find a maxi skirt, and the maxi skirt has to be pretty wide. Um, so it's usually a slim pickings over here, but I did find this black skirt. I didn't end up getting it, but I just wanted to show you an example of what you're kind of looking for. Um, this one had multi layers and elasticized waistband might've even been handmade. Well, I don't know. Um, but it's long and large. And then every once in a while you'll stumble upon something cool like this vintage Givenchy skirt. Um, it's a very high-end uh, French designer. I didn't think the print was atrocious. <laughs> so um, I think it could kind of be cool. It does have like a button closure on the side with a like little side zip. Um, so I might try and keep all of that intact and just make it fit me somehow. It is a little bit long. There's a lot of fabric there. So if I wanted, I could just reuse the fabric. The um, care label was gone though. So I have no idea what substrate it is. It feels like some kind of crepe. I'm imagining silk given the designer. Okay, after skirts, I head over to blazers. Again, you're not gonna really refashion these into anything major or different. Um, they do ha just have some cute ones over there if you want to add them to your wardrobe. But I like going to the jacket section because you can find super cool buttons. Like check out these buttons here that have like these little, I don't know, faces on them. <laughs> I just thought they were neat and they would be cute applied to something more modern. And there are a ton of them on this coat. Well, 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 quite the haul at the old Goodwill found a lot of really good stuff and hopefully you guys learned a ton too and will help to your goodwills and save some garments from the landfills or wherever they go and make something beautiful. I will see you all in my next video very soon. I've got some sewing to do. Bye!